Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name's Brandon, and today I'm reviewing the Nike Rival Fly 3. The Rival Fly 3 is an old school lightweight tempo trainer and it competes with other non-plated lightweight trainers like the Rebel V2, the SL20.2, the EvoRide 2 and the Rincon 3, all of which are excellent lightweight trainers. The Rival Fly 3 has been completely redone. It still maintains its Cushlon midsole but it's now softer and it has a brand new upper and outsole. So version 3 is a big update. The Rival Fly 3 is 28 grams or 1 ounce heavier than the Rival Fly 2 but it still maintains its 8 millimeter drop. I tested the Rival Fly 2 two years ago and I found it to be a really firm shoe and it didn't have enough cushioning for distances longer than 20 kilometers. So I was excited when I found out that the Rival Fly 3 has a brand new midsole. When I put the shoe on for the first time, the upper felt a lot more comfortable than the previous version, and the cushioning also felt softer and more substantial underfoot. My first run was a 20 km easy run, and the ride felt similar to the previous version but with a slightly softer ride. I could still feel the outline of the airbag in the forefoot and there was plenty of ground feel. On that first run, the Rival Fly 3 reminded me of the Pegasus 33 and 34 because in those shoes you could also feel the outline of the airbag in the forefoot. And those versions of the Pegasus also had Cushlon midsoles. While the other popular Nike trainers like the Pegasus, Vomero and Structure have all moved on from Cushlon foam. The Rival Fly 3 still retains the ancient Cushlon foam as its midsole. And if you've been running in other trainers with New Age Super Foam, p or Super Critical midsoles, then you'll probably find the Rival Fly 3 to be flat and slightly boring. The Rival Fly 3 also still uses the old small zoom air unit in its forefoot. Unlike the Pegasus 38 and the Vomero 16, which used the large thick zoom airbag that covers the entire forefoot. So you might find the lumpy forefoot of the Rival Fly 3 slightly annoying if you aren't used to it. I did tempo runs, easy runs, speed workouts, and even a long run in the Rival Fly 3. And I can without a doubt say that it's best suited to short tempo runs and speed workouts. It is, however, a lot more versatile than the previous Zoom Flies. Its new beefed up midsole has enough cushioning for full marathons, and it also has enough cushioning to not leave your feet feel beaten up after long runs, like the old lightweight tempo trainers used to. On its outsole, the Rival Fly 3 has thick rubber on all the high wear areas, and there's exposed midsole foam on the midfoot and under the center of the heel. The entire forefoot is covered with rubber and there are thin longitudinal lines cut into it to help with flexibility. There's also a decoupled lateral crash pad to help soften foot strikes on the lateral side. I found traction to be acceptable on a variety of surfaces including light trails and grip was good in wet and dry conditions. Overall, I've been very happy with durability on my pair. After 80 kilometers, there are only minimal signs of wear, and the Rival Fly 3 feels like a very well built shoe. Just like its midsole, the upper of the Rival Fly 3 feels more substantial, and it's closer to the upper of a typical daily trainer. This is mainly due to the new, thicker, softer mesh which makes it feel more comfortable on long runs. The other big update is that the eye stay and lacing area are now symmetrical compared to an asymmetrical Vaporfly type of setup on the Rival Fly 2. The lightly padded tongue, however, is still asymmetrical. 
It's attached to an inner sleeve, but I still experienced a lot of downward tongue slide during runs. My favorite update is the new laces. They are rectangular, thick, and they have a premium feel to them. The Rivalfly 3 fits true to size with an accommodating and spacious fit that's more similar to a daily trainer than a lightweight racer. The foot lockdown is excellent and the only flaw is the tongue that slides down. The Rivalfly 3 has a really natural ride with plenty of ground feel and lots of stability. But there were times when I was running in it when I just wished it was stiffer and more propulsive. There are some runners who prefer to train in non-plated shoes for their speed workouts so that when they race and they switch to their carbon super shoe they get a bigger boost. The Rivalfly 3 is for those runners. It can also fill the role of a daily trainer in your shoe rotation. It's got a comfortable upper, a tough outsole and a midsole which is cushioned enough for marathon distances. It has a ride which is very reminiscent of the old Pegasus versions. Compared to the other lightweight tempo trainers, the Rivalfly 3 is most similar to the SL20.2. Both of them have similar weights and tough durable outsoles. But I would much rather pick the Rincon 3 or the Rebel V2 ahead of them because they have more springy, fun and engaging rides. For the Rivalfly 4, I'd like to see Zoom X or at the very least React Foam in its midsole. I'd also like a bigger Zoom Air unit so that the forefoot doesn't feel as lumpy. Let us know down in the comments below if you prefer to use old school lightweight tempo trainers like the Rivalfly 3 for your speed workouts or if you prefer to use more modern carbon plated trainers. Thanks for watching the review and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.